Hum. Mm, noob jam. What? They have a metal gear? Gear? Right. Take out that UMG and get after it. Yeah. So, hello everyone. I had a little whoopsie with the game, so I'm redoing this. Well, I had to redo it, and I thought to myself, you know what? How about I show it off since I learned a few things since then? Or rather, in my second try, I have tried to do things. For example, did you know that this could be parry? Because I did it the first time around. It's way more epic to do it that way. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of bug happens. It was a little bit off. Oh, shoot. Well, I pressed all the wrong buttons, but I could counter that. I can't see it. Okay. Not showing up, but it's fine. Going for you. Oh, well, I can't find that. They swapped out the hydraulic cutter for a plasma cannon. I'm not certain I can't parry that, but I think I can't anyway. Oh, yeah, while I'm doing this, have you gone to the community tab for boats? Get out of here, boy. I know how to deal with you. Because, yes, if you want to vote on the next game, I can show up there. Just have to press a button. Behind, absolute jerk. Oh, I think he's gonna charge me. No, I don't care. I'm on it, boss! Oh, I will. Oh. I mean, you also get to hear a rule of nature a second time, so isn't that a good perk? I got an A in combat instead of a B. Aren't I special? Well, alright then. So I guess this is the point we stopped last time, so... Hi, hello, welcome to Metal Gear Solid Rising. Go. Revengeance. Because we're gonna have vengeance again. But yes, so I did this next part last... Well, I did this next part once already and it bugged out like crazy. I hope it's not gonna happen again, but we'll see soon enough. I'm on it, boss. I hope he's not gonna bug out like last time. Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Has he? <sighs> he's here not moving. And he bugged out like last time. Well, I'm a bit worried about what's gonna come up next, because it might happen I can't even play this side. game you past catch. that point. So that's a little bit worrisome. Because this is a small bug that I can, uh, you know, ignore and just keep moving forward like it's nobody's business. But there's one after that that uh, just froze the game and I was unable to do anything. So we'll see what happens.
There's your key. It still works? Seems like it. But if the bug happened again... much. did the thing. Whew. Good. And I'm recording in everything. Um, okay, I thought the game crashed again.
That was so over the top and cool. I love it. He's headed for the front of the train. After him. I'm on it, boss. I am recording. An unidentified field roader is heading your way. Keep an eye out for it. Yes, I am recording. So in case you're wondering what kind of witchcraft I did to make it work, I don't know. I just restarted from the checkpoint and the game was like, oh, right, this, I got it. And it just did it. Prime Minister. Huh. Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little shield here any longer. Things war has done for us. Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, oh. a common purpose. Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. You ain't listening. In. Oh, we're saying, give war a chance. No. Well then. that long. Self-taught. And not half bad. Still. Your technique? Like something. Mightier than the pen after all. Oh, he parries me. This will be unpleasant. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, I don't think I'm supposed to win this. Oh, wow. Now I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. Good to bathe in the 
blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. That's a very oh. Metal Gear-esque thing. Do you want to practice first? Gotta try hard on that. Also, how often does he lose his hand? For him to say not again. Do you want to practice first? Oh, I'm gonna try to run away from him. I think he's gaining on me. when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. Well then, that was a tough day of work. Also, my mouse. Get out of here. The mice think you should own the place. Well, guard duty fail, I feel. Alright. I did a B rank and I got 3000 BP. Whatever BPs are. But I got them. So that's good. The game isn't gonna crash anymore, that would be extra cool, but you never know. Three weeks later. Well, that's cool looking.
cut that out. So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikon? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three lights out closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's what they called us. Andrei Dolsayev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem? is Jetstream Sam. I believe you've met. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. Oh, uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Look at our beautiful boy, all brand specking you and looking epic. Raiden, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. Okay, I'll go in then. Oh, I can just talk to whomever I want. Hey, Courtney, what's up? How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? No, I just wanted to talk with you. Roger that. Let me know if you change your mind. Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <laughs> Tell me about it. 
Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Thanks. I feel like Raiden was a little bit drunk there for some reason. That felt a little bit odd. Let's call our boss, see what he has to Control. say. Hello, it's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damage, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap to manage. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just... do not get reckless. Stay safe, and stay focused on your mission. Oh well. What's up, Kev? Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely gonna see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town, and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. Okay. Hey, Doc, what's up? Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Yes, Copy please. Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. <laughs> indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc, I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Uh, that was a little bit more involved than I thought, but what happened if I talk to him again? Is he gonna tell me more about so it? So these self-repair units and the other cyborgs... They mean they can heal themselves at any time? 
Indeed. It is typically a slow process. Not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? Your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds heal almost instantly. I know, but... And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. <laughs> yeah, simple. <laughs> Alright then. Well, <laughs> this is gonna move on. Cat! Can I pet the cat? Cat, cat. Can I cut the cat in half then? No, the cat dodges. It's a wizard cat. Dodging into the ocean. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm just gonna keep playing the game, shall I? <laughs> I don't even remember what my options are. I modify them so much. I think I'm on medium everything for the game. Medium quality. I hope it's not too horrendous looking on the video. Do tell me if it's the case. This game is 10 year old. The bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Parry at just the right moment to deflect an attack and expose your enemy to counterattack. Bury at just the right moment to deflect an attack and expose your enemy to counter attack. Oh. Also, the dog was saying what their left hand is. Right hand? Oh, left arm. I got it. Good. Well then. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder. Where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. It's a bit cold, Ryden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Yes, yes, that's, that's why I'm here for peace. Hey, 
combat ranking of A. Good. There's probably S that I could do, but... Sendetsu's tutorial is now playable via VR mission. And I reached the checkpoints. So before I head inside, I'm gonna call it quits right here because those bugs really got it out of me. Well, I don't know if what I said just made sense because it didn't make sense to me, but it's fine. So, like always, if you could, you know, press all the buttons under this video, that'll be greatly appreciated. On top of this, if you could go to my community tab and, uh, you know, vote on what game I should play next, that would be greatly appreciated as well. And with that said, I bid you a glorious day. Right, you'll need to head inland. But first, make your way through this building. Thank you, Boris. I bid you a glorious day, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Bye bye.